You, First Coast News has also obtained surveillance video from a San Marco business showing the moments before and after that deadly shooting. The shooting led the victim to crash her SUV into a passing train in San Marco. On your side, Taylor Lebec joins us live outside that business. And Taylor, I know you've been looking at the surveillance footage over and over and over again today. What does it show? Well, there's a lot of questions surrounding this shooting and JSO isn't saying much, but we have gotten surveillance video from a nearby business just minutes before the shooting of a last few cars to pass by the business just before police were dispatched to the area. Take a look at this. Starting at 1.30 a.m., a man who appears to be by himself walks past Fifi's fine resale apparel. It is not known if this man is a witness or involved. Then a minute later at 1.31 a.m., you can see a white car matching the description of the car at the scene Wednesday, driving north on Hendricks Avenue, followed by another car that appears to be black. At 1.32 a.m., a black car is then seen driving in the opposite direction on Hendricks Avenue. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office told us Wednesday police were dispatched to the area at 1.38 a.m. Police found a woman shot multiple times inside a white SUV. A co-worker tells First Coast News the victim is Paige Pringle. He tells us Pringle worked at Dos Gatos in downtown Jacksonville. A memorial was made in front of the business Wednesday night, which has now been moved inside. JSO says the driver stopped at a railroad crossing for the train as it was passing. She was shot and the car rolled and collided into the train. JSO says a second woman believed to be about 50 to 55 years old was found shot near a curb outside of the SUV. First Coast News asked JSO if these women were traveling together, but they would not answer that question. At 1.53 a.m., an ambulance is seen leaving the area with sirens on. And at 1.56 a.m., a fire truck and a JFRD vehicle also left the area. Police say the victim in the vehicle was pronounced dead at the scene, while the second woman was taken to a local hospital where she later died. And First Coast News also reached out to JSO asking if these shootings were random, targeted, or if there's any suspect information known at this time. But all they could tell us with the, was this is still an active investigation. Live in San Marco, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News, on your side.